het na project waar eile gebruik word om rotplaan ons woonbeerte te bekam. Selok huwati nchongo gomlando we sintu iskova inyo netlanga niso nobu mnyama i pati noma uptagati. Umagungatiwa empagati nespila guyo gukona iskova noma amagundwan. Ungaketa ipi. As buildings and cities replace more and more open spaces, the more we lose our wildlife in these areas. But some animals, like birds, do adapt. Sometimes late at night we hear the hooting of owls, but not everyone is happy to have these birds around. For example, at this church in Medellin, Soweto, the congregation has contacted Jonathan Hall of Eco Solutions to come and remove the owls. The owls were hiding so far into the attic that Jonathan could not reach them. Most owls like to nest in dark areas. Being nocturnal birds, they do not like the light. But we knew they were in the attic because there were owl pellets everywhere, and some of the roof ceiling boards were collapsing from the weight of the birds. According to Jonathan, these were barn owls. When wild animals get into trouble and need a helping hand, hopefully they end up at a rehabilitation centre like this one, where they can get the treatment that they need. But once they've recovered, what then? Normally, when Jonathan rescues owls, he takes them to a rehabilitation centre. These owl chicks were lucky. In some instances, people simply kill them instead of calling suitable people or organisations to remove them. Um, we get barn owls, spotted eagle owls. Both of those are endemic to counting. These um, owls were found in a, a roof. Um, the chap didn't want them in the roof, they were being noisy and he was worried about them. He was quite superstitious. Um, and he got one of the SBCAs to remove them. We sometimes hear about the high rodent numbers in our townships and squatter camps. Litter around the shacks creates breeding grounds for vermin like rats and mice. These rats also carry diseases with them, and sometimes by children. Even adults are being bitten by these rats when they walk through the dump sites. Children who play at these sites are easy targets for the rats. To eradicate these pests, people use all sorts of rodenticides or rat poisons. Some of these rodenticides kill wild birds and animals in the urban areas. A few years ago, an urban owl box project was launched by Eco Solutions. The idea was to attract owls to urban areas to eat the rats and discourage people from using rat poison. But this was not an easy road. Jonathan had to come up with an idea to reach the communities. He thought the schools were an ideal place to start. I think the schools out there, we've got two different kind of school projects. We've got the urban Joburg project, which is sort of Johannesburg schools and Cape Town schools. And there we usually release all the young spotted eagle owls. The barn owls are reserved primarily for township schools. And that is because they've, they're better ratters. I mean, they're perfectly designed to control rats. And they don't need anything other than that. They need a place to breed and they need food. Whereas your spotted eagle owls like some trees, they like a bit of, you know, natural or more natural environment. Barn owls can live in, in an area without a single tree, as long as there's rats and a breeding site. So I think at the moment we're at about, probably about 50 or 60 schools now participate in this project. The school grounds offer an excellent hunting area for the owls at night because there is very little human disturbance. Education is the most critical component for the project to succeed. The school children have to take responsibility for feeding and monitoring these owls during the raising of the chicks and during the fledgling period. The school children first had to ask for permission from their parents before they could look after the owls because some parents may have superstitions about these birds. And my dad was, like, was so shocked and said that um, those owls, I'm not sure about them. I think that's too dangerous. But uh, my mom was like, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure, but we can go feed them. Kele Bochile was not impressed with the people in Alexander Township the first time the owls were released at their school. We released them and they go anyway. So most of them I used to go into Alex because they 
a, a lot of Lord rats. Rats. Yeah. So people in Alex kill them, thinking that they are frightening to them. In some cultures, it is believed that when an owl sits on the roof and hoots, someone is going to die. Owl mythology does not only exist in South Africa, but globally. In the past, it was reported that traditional healers killed owls for medicinal use. But Samson in Vubu disagrees. Many owls hunt in suburban gardens, and although food is available, breeding sites are rare. Residents can order owl boxes for their gardens. Owl boxes are installed without owl chicks. Sometimes the boxes are occupied within weeks, but it can also take a few years. But it, it was quite interesting. They got so so big and fluffy that, in fact, only two ever came to the front of the box. You never actually saw all three at the front of the box because it was just a, a small opening. Barn owls are creatures of habit. They can roost and nest in the same spot for years. They live and breed in suburban green belts and contribute to the control of rodents. The thing about barn owls, okay, is because they're designed essentially just to be ratters, okay, they, 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 they're able to regulate their breeding. So in a year where there's a, a massive rodent explosion, you can find an owl box with 15 chicks in it. Oh, don't know, just relax. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Ringing of young owls is undertaken before the owls are released. Five, one, two. So that is now this bird's identity number, and whatever happens to it in future, if it gets killed by hit, hit by a car, uh, gets picked up, if it dies of old age, hopefully somebody finds the bird, sees that it's ringed, and then reports the fact that it's they've found this ringed bird. Well, the next time you see a dead owl with a ring on its leg, contact your nearest conservation organisation. And if you hear an owl hooting in your garden or on top of your house, know that the Natural Pest Control Squad is in your neighbourhood. What an evening. Yep, from baboons to turtles to lions and water to owls ridding the townships of rats and even the possibility of creating black holes. It's a lot to take in. Ja, and talks and this precies where it's going here on 5050. It's for all and all for the environment. That's what we do, and we'll be back here next week if we haven't been swallowed by a black hole. This alligator. Got him. The monthly price for the best bijdrage for Veld Focus is a yearly sandpark vacation in the National Park of your choice. En die groot prijs wat in januari 2011 gewen gaan word vir die beste bydrae van die jaar is 'n Toyota Hilux 4x2 3 liter diesel dubbel kan jy ride ter waarde van 295.000 rand. Okay guys, what's next?